Hi, my name is Charles Marshall and I'm a software consultant with the Walters Kluwer CCH Training and Consulting Department. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use interactive reports in CCH Access Tax to identify problems that may cause the tax return to be in error. CCH Access Tax comes with a set of five interactive reports that provide information about potential problems with your return. These reports can be viewed from the Tax Return Review ribbon or from the Quick Access Toolbar. The five available troubleshooting reports are interactive in that the messages on the reports concerning potential problems are linked to the tax return fields that need to be reviewed or edited to eliminate or resolve the problem. First I'll discuss the diagnostic report. Each time the return is calculated, the program prepares a diagnostic report. Diagnostic messages on this report are organized into four categories in order of severity, electronic filing, warning, caution, and informational diagnostic messages. The little symbol to the left of the diagnostic message indicates that the message is interactive. Double-click the message and the program takes you to the worksheet where data must be entered or deleted to eliminate the message. The sole caution diagnostic concerns form 2210 and indicates that data is missing. When the missing data is entered and the return calculated, the diagnostic message goes away. The next interactive report I'm going to show you is the reversed tick mark report. This troubleshooting report works in connection with the tick mark tool. The tick mark tool is a review tool that allows you to tick mark an input field, government form, or statement to indicate that the item has been reviewed. Apply a tick mark to a field by selecting insert tick mark from the tick marks section of the review ribbon. Three levels of tick marks are available distinguished by color of tick mark. If a line on a government form has been tick marked and the underlying input changes, the tick mark changes to a reverse tick mark. Instead of appearing as a colored tick mark against a white background, it displays as a white tick mark against a colored background. Form 1040 line 12, for example, has a reverse tick mark. The reverse tick mark report shows you a list of government forms that have reverse tick marks on them. You can access the report from the toolbar or from the review menu. Like the diagnostic report, the messages on this report are interactive. This report indicates that there are reverse tick marks on Form 1040 and on Schedule B. Click the message to open the form and review the reversed tick mark. After you've reviewed the reverse tick mark, to remove it, select Delete Tick Mark from the right-click menu. Your return troubleshooting process should include a review of whether there are input field or government form overrides or estimated numbers in the return and confirmation of whether the overrides or estimated numbers are desirable. The input override report, field override report, and field estimate report assist you in locating return overrides and estimates. These reports work like the interactive diagnostic report an interactive reverse tick mark report that I showed you earlier in this presentation. As you've seen in this video, CCH Access Tax comes with a strong set of user-friendly troubleshooting tools to assist you in preparing your tax returns. I hope this information has been useful to you. Thanks for watching this video. For more ProSystem FX training resources, please visit our training and consulting webpage.